Like you might not see it, but we be making changes all Thank the time you. with our trusty coach. Keep the same thing with him. So if he has to walk, bending inside, inside black pushes over, okay? So if you guys missed what I was saying, because this might be in a different video, we made a lot of changes. We changed uh, Chino's bit. We're going to change the saddle that Gabby rides in. And we are going to change Sophie's horse. Sometimes she's going to be riding Chino so that he can teach her some things that she needs to know. <laughs> this guy's ready to roll. Is he like doing that? Wow, Chino's got energy. Yeah, down a hole. Let's move to the middle. All right. This is Gabby's length of stirrups, and they have to go down a hole. This is this is interesting. I'll go longer on Chino because um, my legs will probably barely go past the saddle. Off we go. Lowered her stirrups. We're ready to rock and roll. And Chino has energy, <laughs> and he is bouncy. So we are going to see how this. Toby, today you got to use your legs. She's been really practicing using her legs, Brandon, and she's been doing a lot better. So today she's going to show you that she can do it really good. Lift the body up, heels reach down, reach them for the ground. So she's just getting her feel, and you know, my hope is that she'll fall in love with him. So close to the wall. Yeah, so if you get close to the wall, you have to use that outside leg. Okay, your outside leg swings back a little bit. Reaching further and then pushing the body off the wall. If you want to come out, we want to create a slight banana feel. So his butt will come in, his shoulders will elevate, and his yeah, head in front of his shoulders. So Chino has energy today because Gabby only read him, wrote him two times last week. It's so weird how sometimes he has like an exuberant amount of energy, and then other times he's like lazy. And then playing with that over the fence. Yeah. So I think it depends on who goes to the water truck at the same time. So you think like he sometimes is like playing a lot so then he's tired and sometimes he's just bored? Yeah. Well, most of the time he's even at the water truck. I love them playing though. Good. Sophie, don't use your hands to steer. Use the outside leg. So cut through here. Eyes up, steering, open, outside leg. Outside leg. Outside leg. Straight across the E. New bend. New outside leg. Look E. Heels down. Heels down. Good. <laughs> He's so mad. Did we take your supper? Your lunch? Yeah, that was so rude, huh? Long knees and body. Lift tall with your core. Inside legs. You let them just cut the entire corner off, okay? Keep the nose to the inside, yes. Okay. This is the only book that allow you to have a longer rain on because the nose is not going to possibly Oh, this horse won't do anything crazy. You say it. Yeah, I say it now. Just wait. He just spontaneously has a lot of energy. So he has spooked before. He tucked his bum and took two steps forward. Yeah, and then just back him Yeah, like the horse literally does nothing ever, anytime. Nose in, outside leg pushes his haunches in. So swing that outside leg down, toes in on the inside. Nose in, pressing that shoulder over. Okay, no. just throw your hands up. So if you keep them hip width, keeping everything forward. Take a little feel of that outside rein. Just bring his nose back around. Little wiggle, wiggle, good. There we go. Heels so down, and then when you're ready, I want you to just bring him up into the trot, okay? It's gonna be big. I've ridden this trot before. That's fine. I'm just let me remind you. Yeah, so um, we go. there might Heels be like down. a lot of walk trot for Sophie and Chino. Because he's got such a big movement, it took Gabby two weeks to learn to just sit on this horse and ride him walk trot. For two weeks it took her. Inside inside leg. You're cutting corner, so make him go around there by keep yeah. Pushing that inside to the floor. Right into the corner, so into the corner. So, 
Thumbs up. Little play with that ring finger, right? There. Good. Good boy, she knows. There we go. What do you guys think? This is Sophie's step up horse. Captain, but at least you can be able to feel where your body needs to be, right? Inside leg, you're cutting that corner again. Keep the reins steady. Inside, use your elbows. Bending, giving and taking with that inside frame. Already, I see a difference in here. Soften and soften when he reaches down and then keep pushing him forward. Low squeeze with both legs to elevate the trot a little bit more. I see her working on her instead of like worrying about the horse. Wiggle, wiggle, that's inside rain. Wiggle, wiggle, I hope. Yeah, good, Sophie. There. Wow. So do you think already that there's a big difference? I could change? Yeah. This will get her to have a position. I mean, yeah. Force that you have to put leg on. Yeah. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, so this is a just getting her to relax and put the leg on. Yeah, like I really see a difference in her right now working on her and not even caring about the horse. Don't worry about where the reins go. I feel. Off, okay, as soon as you flip them over, that pressure and then you're lifting his head up, okay? Good, and then once he's down, soften the elbow, allow him to reach forward, rub his neck again. It's the same thing that we do with Finn. <laughs> the little kitty comes running over. I'm not a cat lover. But I love this cat. I literally love him. Anyways, so every time like we make a choice and it's right, I get this weird feeling in my belly. In my gut, I get this weird feeling and I get it right now. I get it. Like you can't always have the horse that you want for the things that you want to do with them. Sometimes you have a horse and you just gotta figure it out. And I know Sophie wants to show jumpers and she will this year on Finn, but this is her step up horse for now, and I, I think it's going to be good for both of them. I love them. I love them together. I love you together, Sophie. <laughs> Sophie can't talk. <sighs> Look at how cute that boy is. He's so darn cute. You know, every coach that we've ever had has said, well, both of our coaches have said, this is Sophie's step up horse. And I've been like, nope. And, and now I see it. And now I see them together. And I can't believe the change. Like I feel like Sophie's getting somewhere. Side and then soften with the reaches. Good. Hold the outside leg and start the running into the wall. Add that pressure again. Good boy. Reach tall with your shoulders. There. Go. Good. So, okay. Yeah. Outside leg in the corner. Start applying that outside leg. Push it through. Outside and soften the elbow. Good. Good. So, okay. Big circle down here. Okay. I can't believe how long Gabby Sophie's been going around and she hasn't even asked for a break. I can't breathe. No, you don't. You just said that because your mom said that. Keep going. No, I'm pretty sure she can't breathe. Okay. <laughs> Outside leg, Sophie. In, bend the knees. Good. Nice and tall. Good boy. Wow. Now collect by closing your lower leg. Look it. I haven't showed you guys all the hearts that I see every day, but there's one. A beautiful heart. Brandon, how did you do that? Sophie's like, he just magically spoke some words. Just a little half halt, Sophie, so close your thighs, sit tall, and we'll start on the far side by end going into the corner at C, okay? So we're just gonna lift your reins up a little bit, and then outside leg, sit and kiss. Sophie's like, I'm not cantering. Okay, so there's the head, bring it back, half halt. Side. Use that outside leg. So this here, so if you don't have that contact with your legs, it's not going anywhere, right? Yet you have to utilize the legs. You can't just sit there. I need you to reach taller with your body. Bring your ponytail back to this butt. Good. Down. Sit. Outside leg and kiss. Yeah. You have lost all leg and you get. Half all the 
nose in. Soften that upper side brain. Roll your right side brain forward. Good. Half off. Close your thighs. Sit tall. Little balance that side leg. Kiss, kiss, and go. There we go. Wow. Inside leg. Use your leg muscles. That's okay. Lift tall. Good. So it's gonna be very rocky until you get used to this very uphill difference, okay? Big force, and then you gotta press everything forward, and then you gotta keep that same feel as the truck. Close your thighs, more legs to slow them down. Good, so Wow. Half off, lift your body, do the same thing again in that corner, okay? Don't look that, don't look. Yep, Good. don't look so you guys. Look, she's here. learning. Go to the inside, don't throw his head to the outside. Let go of that outside brain. It's not through the theory with it. Good, and balance and go. Good, nice and tall. Good. Holy Good. cow. She got. Outside left, outside left, outside left. There we go. Good. He's asking for more rain, Sophie. Good, let go of his face. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Good, Sophie. Thumbs up. Inside. Inside. Let's go to the outside brain. Oh, look at She's starting to sit up. She's starting to sit up. She's starting to figure it out a little. Very good. Inside bend. Inside bend. Get the bend. Pass off your body. Use your leg. Good. Circle. Open that brain over your knee. Keep your fingers close. In theory, outside brain forward so you can push through. Good, Sophie. Close your thighs. Sit up and sit down. Turn the walk. Nice and tall. Leg on the bend. Wow. Do you feel like you're teaching her for the first time? Yeah. I feel it too. Yeah, I feel like he's teaching her for the first time. I think I have post traumatic fin syndrome. <laughs> like, I didn't even realize for all this time that there's like. So much stress associated with with Sophie and Finn, and then now her riding Chino just feels like I have this big relief and relief. You know, she's not perfect at it. it. Took Gabby two weeks of walk trot to ride this this horse. His weight's staying good too. Leg eyes. Sophie, inside leg, use that outside leg to soften. Soft. And actually balancing and stepping through with that outside, okay? Inside, outside leg pushes, haunches in. Good, Sophie. Haunches in, nice and tall. Nice and tall. Good, don't let him. He's going to invert at times just because. You don't always have to be consistent to deal with that inside. Take it again and then soften. Good, and then repeat. Good, keep repeating, keep repeating. Good, Sophie. I just feel so happy today. I just feel so happy, like. Yeah, you put your tongue back in now. I love the tongue out. I just feel so, such a relief. Push, Sophie, leg. Good, repeat again, come back through. He really loves the lesson, that gray fin. Good boy, Sophie. We need coffee. Nope. We're avoiding the falls. Lift your body. Lift your body. Stay up off of his back if you need to, okay? So keep the legs closed and forward. Really nice and tall. Yes, 
outside leg, pushing them through. Half halt here, outside leg, sit and balance and go. Yep. Half halt again, don't rush it. Coming down. You want to, your arm is resting your boobs on this, on your crotch. You got to lift it tall, shoulders back. Yeah. Cause Use you... your legs and reach for the ground. There. Inside bend. Inside bend. Good. Outside leg. Sit. Yeah, you almost had it, and then you just drop that shoulder down, okay? Don't lean forward, is what he's saying. Well, this is the work that put you on great bed. This is you all. <laughs> inside bend, nose to the inside. Use that outside leg, haunches in, sit, sit, and go. Don't you know that you're beautiful?